Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Leo their weekly love read. Leo, this is for the week of May 16th through the 22nd. Um, today we're going to do past, present, and future energies for you. Um, I'm changing it up a little bit. I feel like I haven't done this one in a while. So let's get into what we have for past, present, and future. Keep in mind, guys, these are general reads. So if you feel like this is not your read um then check your moon or your rising signs if you're not sure what your mooning if you're not sure what your moon or your rising signs are there is a link in the description box that'll give you that information um yes there's also a link in the description box to my web page so if you're interested in getting a personal read um then you can check that out all right so thank you so much for watching i appreciate all your support Please excuse the stuffy nose, the raspy voice, and the glassy eyes. Um, it's all allergy related, so it's been pretty significant around here lately. All well, Leos, at the bottom of the deck we have this Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're definitely keeping your heart guarded. You're definitely keeping yourself kind of closed off. Um, it could be because you feel like you have some confusion around what you want in terms of love or who you want in terms of love. Um, but I definitely see this guarded, protected feeling of keeping your hearts close to you, closed off and safe. So let's see, Leos, what we have coming towards you and what the future holds, guys. Um, so in the past, I definitely see um, some really strong love. I have um, a connection with a divine masculine and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like, um, wow, this is a really strong love to me. But something prompted that to stop. So, um, interesting. Okay, so um, I definitely see in the past that you definitely had a new love situation, a love situation in which you felt super connected to this person. You um, feel like this person is your divine counterpart. This person was your divine counterpart. And if not, it was just someone who um, was a very prominent figure, very guarded, very, or not guarded, I'm sorry, very protective, um, very masculine, like very like, I'm a man and I'm going to take care of you kind of energy or I'm your woman and I'm going to take care of you kind of energy, a very like boss like figure. But I definitely see a very, very strong love connection here. Um, I feel like we have the chariot card. Um, this could be a choice. So maybe you made a choice to move away from this person or maybe it's rapid forward movement. Maybe you chose to move forward with them. But I also see this um, crying at night energy here. So this stress or anxiety. So this was a really phenomenal connection. But for some reason, I feel like you, I feel like you moved forward from it. You you moved forward and now I feel like you're kind of crying or in the past you've been like crying yourself to sleep at night. Mm. Or perhaps you were crying yourself to sleep at night and then this came and then you rushed forward with it. But I kind of feel like it's this is the ending of it because um, in the future we have a Ten of Wands and the Hangman. So I feel like you were with someone that you really had a strong connection to. Um, there was some rapid forward movement and then I feel like it kind of something happened. I'm, I've not really been clarifying so I don't want to necessarily clarify for you. But um, in the present I definitely see this Hangman energy here. So this could be you dealing potentially with the Pisces. Um, we also have the King of Swords and the Ten of Wands, so it could be multiple signs. But um, I feel like you have been, you in the present moment, you are kind of letting whatever be, be. You're surrendering to what is. You're not fighting things. You're not pushing for things. You're just kind of saying, you know, I'm just going to let everything be whatever is be. Whatever shall be, shall be. Um, for someone watching Kisera, Kisera, or Kesa <laughs> Um, I feel like... Uh, you're just stuck in the pause. You're healing and you're just letting and allowing, you know, this is what it is. This is what it is. I do feel like you're putting this burden down though. And I think that goes along with that healing energy of, you know what, I'm just accepting this for what it is. I'm putting this stress down. I'm putting this burden down. I'm putting this 
hurt and is crying up at night, I'm putting this to, to bed because I just need to let things be what they're supposed to be. Um, and I think in doing that, you're going to be getting some clarity. Um, you're going to be getting some clarity. You're going to be understanding, you know, why things turned out the way they did. I feel like you're going to have some direct communication um, that's going to give you some clarity as well. This could potentially be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming in, an air sign as well. But we also, like I said, have wands. So that's Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, and then the hangman, which is Pisces. So in the present moment. But I, I honestly don't feel like this is so much a person coming to you. I feel like this is you kind of getting that clarity that you're going to need and seek, um, that you are seeking. Because I kind of feel like in the be in the past, like you don't know. Like you're not, you wished it didn't go south, but it did go south. In the present though, guys, look at here, look at here, look at here. Um, we definitely have some flirty, fiery, sexy, passionate energy. Uh, this could be you very much, Leo, showing up in your own power as the king of, the king of wands. In this deck, to me, this is a Leo because there's a giant lion in the background, but the queen of wands, to me, tends to be a Leo more so. So this could be an Aries, and it, uh, interestingly enough, um, in the past, this is an Aries, the emperor. So this person, I feel like, could be potentially coming back around, um, coming back around to apologize with this page of cups. Um, because of the conflict and the stress and the arguments that incurred previously. I kind of feel like this person is coming back to apologize. Um, I feel like this page of cups, you know, can be an offer of love too, right? Like, um, let's go on a date. Would you like to go grab a coffee? I'd really love to chat with you. Um, it could progressively get higher and higher though and be, um, you know, I, I really messed up. I'm really sorry. I want to come back in your life. Uh, I want to propose to you. I want to move in with you. Whatever. It could be um, any, I want to marry you. Um, but I do think this person is going to be apologizing for this conflict. Um, that's how I see it. But there could also be one other story. I'm going to give you the other story. Um, I feel like you could be having multiple suitors coming in in the future lots of conflict over who's going to date you or who you're going to date but one person will kind of significantly rise this king of cups kind of energy um very passionate flirty sexy smoldering kind of energy very intense connection and they will offer a love connection so either um, the person's coming back to apologize um or you're going to have a, a passionate situation with someone Telepathy, telepathic communication just flew out of the deck. This is the healing, the sacred healing journey by Angelic Revelation 144. Um, we also have underwater sink or swim. So I kind of feel like that's the, that um, it's not the exact hermit or not hermit, uh, the hangman energy. You know, I'm just going to let whatever be, whatever be. But I'm um, like, you're currently underwater, so you're going to have to figure it out, right? And I feel like... Um, with the hangman, it's just kind of like surrendering to what it, it's going to be and, and figure it out as you go. But um, so telepathy and underwater, and then we have breakthrough, penetrating walls, and assessing risk, weighing up options. I, I do feel like that's going to be you weighing up your options when this person comes back to apologize in the future, guys. I do feel like you uh, will receive an apology. I think this is a return. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. So if you kind of feel like you don't deserve it, you do. This could be the one, guys. Um, you already met the romantic partner you seek, yeah. And like, look at that, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you, you experience more love in your present moments. I do think, I really do think this is a person coming back to apologize. All right, let's get the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. For Leo in their person. I want you. An eight. Time to ground yourself. Which is that hangman energy. Ooh, three, your family won't like me. I just want space. Oh, I wasn't going to get any more, but I'm going to take that one. Gossip only hurts more. On the bottom of the deck, it says, I'm too afraid to talk. So I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, gossip only hurts more. Your family won't like me. Perhaps this is because there is this past energy, but really, you know, I feel like you had, 
wanted maybe they said they wanted space in the past um and that's part of what made you sad crying up at night but i feel like you've had some time to ground yourself and i think this person really knows they screwed up but if you're into numerology there's a, a six a eight and a three and a seven they're afraid to talk to you Ooh, then it says wait and it says this love scares me um so yeah and perhaps they kind of um panicked right Oh, what am I doing? They kind of panicked um, earlier because the love did scare them. Or maybe you did. All right, guys, let's get a couple of love vibe cards from King of Aloha for Leo and their person. Let's get a couple of love vibe cards for Leo and their person. I'm trying to fix my life right now. I don't think we feel the same about this. Oh, do I have a chance with you? So I'm trying to fix my life right now. So that could potentially be you. I don't think we feel the same about this. Do I have a chance with you? And then on the bottom of the deck, it says, I'm not the one for you. So I feel like I'm not the one for you. I don't think we feel the same about this. I think this is past energy, right? I think this is like someone was really kind of stuck in their head and didn't think it was going to work. And now they're like, I'm trying to fix my life. And do we have a chance? Like, do I have a chance with you? Because, you know, this too, assessing risk, weighing up options. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Are you going to take a chance, Leo? I guess you'll have to wait and see if they come back with that apology, huh? All right, guys, let's get a um, heart song, song in the key, songs in the key of love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Um, these are song lyrics. Um, so the song itself might resonate with you personally, or it might be a song that makes you think of the person that you're thinking of during this read, or it could just be you need to listen to the lyric. I was born to love you by Queen. So take a chance with me. Oh, I just said take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, right? So take a chance with me. Let me romance with you. I'm caught in a dream and my dreams come true. So hard to believe this is happening to me. An amazing feeling coming through. I was born to love you by Queen. And I do feel like, I do feel like they feel that way. Will you let them back? Do they have a chance? That was the other one, like, right? Take a chance. Do I have a chance? So take a chance with me. And then assessing the risk. So all those are kind of like validating each other, guys. What you going to do, Leo? I don't know. You tell me. Please uh, comment in the bottom below. Let me know. Um, please share, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support, guys. I truly, truly appreciate you watching. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.